Now this is a transformation you really don't want to miss. Today we are grooming Zen, and she's a 10-year-old Great Pyrenees. Stay tuned until the end of this video to watch Zen go from brown to white. Okay, you dirty thing. Oh, don't run away. Your nails are atrociously long. Oh, you stink. Now in order to get this beautiful queen fresh and clean, I'm going to need to do multiple shampoos. We are starting with a couple rounds of Nasty Critter Deep Cleaning Shampoo. Okay. No, well, you don't have, whoa. Like normally I would think that that's flea poop, but that is not flea poop because it's not turning red. Like that is literally just dirt. That's crazy. Dirt and or a possible skin condition. Zen is currently staying at a boarding kennel with her sister, Zella, who you will all meet next week. By the time the owners come to pick them up, they won't even recognize their dogs. My favorite part about grooming dirty dogs is making chocolate milk. Along with lots of dirt, Zen also has quite a few burrs and quite a few ticks but we're going to fix her right up. So far, you're not a shaker. We appreciate that. After her face wash, we do another round of Nasty Critter and then a final wash in purple shampoo to brighten up her white. Purple shampoo. Zen has a really greasy coat, despite multiple washes and using a degreasing cream. So we are going to skip conditioner today because it might make her coat worse. In total, her bath took about one hour. Now we give her a good towel dry and then it's off to the blow dryer. Come on up, up. Come on up, up. Good luck. Oh, good girl. During the dry, I noticed a lot of ticks. Using tweezers, I removed the tick, and then it can fluff off into an empty bottle of shampoo filled with rubbing alcohol. Unfortunately, we found quite a few dog ticks and quite a few deer ticks. Deer ticks are responsible for transmitting diseases such as Lyme disease. It's important to have your pet on preventative if they're going to any high-risk tick areas. Using my ten blade, I am shaving out some matting behind her ears and all the greasy hair underneath her ear flaps. And then we brush and give lots of treats. Zen was a big fan of the liver Here. treats. The most satisfying part of her groom would have to be the nail trim. Her nails were exceptionally long, which was likely causing her some pain and difficulty when she was walking. At this point, this old girl was exhausted. I let her lay down for the remainder of the nail and paw trim, and she was more than content about that. Good girl. I finished her off with some sugar cookie cologne, and this senior queen is all finished. Her 
Her before and after is seriously insane and probably one of the best on this channel. If you liked this video, you can support more complimentary grooms like Zen's by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and following along for more content. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the very Zen Zen.